Hi everybody, my name is Andromeda Erickson. I'm going to start working on Dr. Katherine Wagner's project looking at evolutionary change in introduced fish populations in the Wind River Range. I'm going to be working on fish stomach content analysis for the different trout in these lakes, and I'm also going to be working with Lucia Comrink, who is the master's student on the project. The Wind River Range is in northwestern Wyoming, so it's shown right here on the map. It's by Pinedale, Wyoming, and you can't really tell from the map, but there are a number of different alpine lakes in the higher elevations in this range. And while they never naturally contained fish populations, about 100 years ago, humans started stocking salmonid fish to these lakes to support recreational fisheries. So on the left is an image of golden trout that Wyoming game and fish stock in the Wind River Range. So Dr. Wagner's project is looking at evolutionary change in the gill rakers of these fish. So under the operculum or the gill cover of trout, they have there's this gill arch. And so there are gill filaments, which are part of the respiratory structure of trout, but there are also gill rakers. And that is what her research is interested in because these trout are zoo or planktivorous fish. So they are visually picking out zooplankton, which targets larger zooplankton populations. And they also catch zooplankton in these gill rakers. And that also targets larger zooplankton because they are more likely to get caught in this sieve-like structure. And then the fish eat those zooplankton that get caught. So in turn, they have found that the zooplankton communities in these lakes have gotten smaller over time. So there are more small zooplankton and less large zooplankton. And so they expect to see rapid evolutionary change where the gill rakers either decrease in spacing or increase in number to catch these smaller zooplankton that they need to eat. And so they expect to see this evolutionary change be more prominent in fish in lakes with higher densities of fish populations and in lakes with fish populations that have been self-sustaining over time. So they haven't been continuously stocked over time because they've had the chance to undergo this evolutionary change over time. So specifically to start, I think I'll be looking at brook trout and cutthroat trout. So lakes where there are either brook trout populations, cutthroat, cutthroat trout populations, or a mix of those two trout. So I'll be analyzing the stomachs from those trout. And so when you analyze these trout stomachs, you see a number of different aquatic invertebrates, including different zooplankton. So over here, is an artist's rendition of a freshwater copepod, which copepods and cladocerans are kind of the prominent zooplankton that are in these alpine lakes. So that is what I'll be looking at, are the aquatic invertebrates in these fish stomachs. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them during the seminar.